Our programs include many languages. Please log on to our program schedule for more details. SupremeMasterTV.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes comprennent des émissions en plusieurs langues. Pour de plus amples informations, consultez suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nos programmes comprennent des émissions en plusieurs langues. Pour de plus amples informations, consultez suprememastertv.com barre schedule. It is known that our true white brother, when he comes, will be all powerful and will wear a red cap or red cloak. He will be large in population, belong to no religion but his very own. Tune in for the multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age Part 15, The Sacred Stone Tablets of the Hopi and the Four Races, airing today on Supreme Master Television. Hello, delightful viewers. I am Morningstar, the Native American fairy from beautiful San Diego, California, USA. Our lovely people pray that we will all be the guardians of Mother Earth. today's program, we continue to explore the prophecies of the American Native Hopi tribe. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed. Their words obscured, but how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. Long ago, the Great Spirit Masao gave the Hopi people four sacred stone tablets with his teachings on them. Three of them were given to the Hopi Bear Clan. The remaining one was given to the Fire Clan. But the Great Spirit broke off the corner of the Fire Clan's tablet. It is said that at the time of purification, which is now, the missing piece of the tablet will be returned by Pahana, the Hopi's great white brother who will return from the East. Pahana is from the word Pahu in Hopi language. Pahu means ocean. Pahana would come with the people of the rising sun from across the great salt water or ocean to establish a new and universal brotherhood of man. Pahana comes from the Hopi word meaning ocean. Supreme Master's name is Qinghai. Qinghai means pure ocean. And she came to America from the east or Taiwan. She was born in the east too, in Aulak, or Vietnam. 
Aspahana comes from the Hopi word meaning ocean. Is it more than a coincidence that Supreme Master's name is Qinghai and Qinghai means pure ocean? And that she is even from the east? Could it be that Pahana has already returned? We hope he knew our true white brother is to come and help us. He has a stone tablet representing his own title and power within the Creator's plan. By placing it together with our Fire Clan tablet, he may call upon the natural forces to purify the world. If the task of purification is left to the natural forces, we may all be wiped out. So it is up to all people to purify themselves voluntarily. What is Bahana's stone tablet representing his own title? A tablet can be defined as a surface on which images or writings convey important messages. Could it be that the stone tablet is our Supreme Master Television, a modern-day tablet representing its founder's own title, Supreme Master? In 2006, Supreme Master Ching Hai first launched Supreme Master Television as a communicative tool to encourage people to purify themselves by changing their way of life. Supreme Master Ching Hai has often talked on Supreme Master Television about the purification period, emphasizing it as a chance for us to change and redeem ourselves. The cleansing effect is very unpleasant to bear. But if people realize this is just a warning and change to a better, nobler lifestyle in love and peace, then all living on earth will be in unity. And, uh, let's pray that this happen very soon. We need it. We need a change in human consciousness. We need peace and love on this planet for a change. We've been living long enough in the shadow of wars, cruelty, troubles, famine, and suppression of all kinds due to the killing karma. We really need a breath of fresh air. We need peace, comfort, safety, happiness, and love among all beings on the planet. When Pahana returns to lead us in peace and love, how will we recognize him? In the book Kachina, The Hopi Butterfly Trail, journalist Leslie Ann Crossingham wrote this about Pahana. Elders say that the elder brother might change the color of his skin, but his hair will remain black. This means that Prahana could be white, yellow, or of another race, but originally has black hair. Prahana was further described as follows. It is known that our true white brother, when he comes, he will be all powerful and will wear a red cap or red cloak. He will be large in population, belong to no religion but his very own.
I belong to the truth, and I preach the truth. You may call it Buddhism, Catholicism, Taoism, whatever you like. I welcome. With him there will be two great ones, both very wise and powerful. One will have a symbol or sign of swastika, which represents purity, and is female, a producer of life. The second one of the two helpers to our true white brother will have a sign or a symbol of the sun. He too will be many people and very wise and powerful. Here, we think the two great assistants of the true white brother are the Christians and Buddhists of the world. Both these major religious groups have large populations of followers, with about 500 million Buddhists and 2.3 billion Christians among us today. The swastika has been a prominent symbol of the Buddha with several auspicious meanings, including eternity and universal harmony. Less well known is that the sun has long been a representation of Christianity. Researchers have gathered strong evidence that the early Christians identified Lord Jesus Christ with the sun. This may be why in visual depictions of Jesus Christ, the crown or halo on his head often resembles a golden sun. We also see light as sun rays emanating from the sacred heart of Jesus or from the statues of Holy Mother Mary and the infant Jesus. Plus, keen observers say that traces of the sun symbol can be found at the Vatican, home of the Roman Catholic Church. Moreover, the Holy Bible makes several references to the sun. For instance, Prophet Malachi, in referring to Jesus Christ, said, The sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its rays. We have long known that Supreme Master Ching Hai was raised with both a Catholic and Buddhist upbringing, and currently she has many disciples of these two faiths. And she quotes widely the doctrines of these two religions in her lectures. Therefore, Jesus said, Love thy neighbor, even love thy enemies. We are God's children. Jesus told you that. And Buddha said, You are Buddha. You have Buddha nature inside. I can be Buddha, you can be Buddha. So, behave like God's children, behave like Buddha, okay? In addition, as all the masters are one and spiritually cooperating with one another, we are certain that the Buddhas and Lord Jesus are assisting Supreme Master Ching Hai in her mission. In fact, eyewitness accounts confirming this abound in our association. Following are just two examples. I have just come back from my first four-day retreat in England and have had the best time ever. Every time Master was with us, I saw different Buddhas and past Masters around her. It seemed she was never alone. On the last day of the retreat, when Master was on the stage, the public was allowed to come in and see her. She was talking about Jesus and he suddenly appeared above her. I started shaking and tears filled my eyes. And as Master was leaving, she shook my hand and gave me some sweets. I told her that I saw Jesus and how overwhelmed I was. She replied, they all come to my house. One day before initiation, Lord Buddha came again and took my soul up. I asked him, Lord Buddha, where are you taking me? He said, I'm taking you to Master Ching Hai. Then many Buddhas and Bodhisattvas appeared. Manjusri Bodhisattva, Kuan Yin Bodhisattva, and Amitabha Buddha 
together told me, Go, go, follow Master Ching Hai and let her take care of you. Remember to follow Master and practice diligently. Amitabha Buddha once took me to a superior level to visit Master Ching Hai. Master was sitting right in the middle of many Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Then Sakyamuni Buddha told me, Quickly kneel and pay respect to Master. From then on, I ceased to see the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Only the inner Master appeared in my visions. We will be right back with more on the Hopi prophecies, so please stay tuned. Welcome back to our program on the prophecies of the Hopi indigenous people. Next, we examine another angle on Pahana sun symbol helpers. It is worthy to note that Taiwan or Formosa and the Philippines have shown particularly strong support for Supreme Master Ching Hai and her noble work over the years. Not only do large numbers of their citizens follow her teachings, but also many top-level government officials, dignitaries, and influential intellectuals have always welcomed her with full support and recognition. I want her presence uh, felt uh, not only in the Philippines in Asia, but in the international community because her uh, voice is really something that's relevant for all mankind. Presented to the Supreme Master Ching Hai, Environmental Protection and Humanitarian Award. In the Philippines, besides the Goosey Peace Prize and Environmental Protection and Humanitarianism Award, Supreme Master Ching Hai was also awarded the Key of Manila, another plaque of recognition which her resident disciples received in Manila on her behalf. Through the efforts uh, of the uh, Supreme Master, uh, we are able to uh, preserve the environment and uh, make uh, life for our uh, children very bright. Well, 而且站在一个前人类的高度来看待很多事情能够带领大家来让大家有很多的共识为善和向上并没有消极负面的地方
with such enthusiastic support for Supreme Master Ching Hai from Taiwan or Formosa and the Philippines, it is surely an appropriate sign that both bear the sun symbol on their respective flags, as if to declare victory that the Lord is with us. What's just as exciting is the third symbol mentioned in yet another version of the Hopi prophecy. The purifier, Pa'ana, commanded by the red symbol, with the help of the sun and the miha, swastika, will weed out the wicked who have disturbed the way of life of the Hopi, the true way of life on earth. Even if I can break the reincarnation cycle, it's only for the worthy, for those who are wicked, working for Maya to oppress others, etc. They will not benefit from the freedom of reincarnation. But on the contrary, they must pay their debt accordingly. Could this red symbol, which commands the purification over the earth, be the divine symbol of heaven that we already know? The three, Pahana and his helpers, will lay out a new life plan, which leads to everlasting life and peace. The earth will become new as it was from the beginning. Flowers will bloom again, and there will be an abundance of food for all. Those who are saved will share everything equally, and they all will recognize Great Spirit and speak one language. From a spiritual perspective, we have learned that there is only one language that can be used to recognize God, Guan Yin, meaning inner sound meditation, is this unique inner language, also known as the word or vibration that is itself a manifestation of God. As taught by Supreme Master Ching Hai, if all humans could speak this heavenly language, a heavenly future would come true for all. God has invented one language, which is called the Word in the Bible. And once we speak together in that same language, we have no problem, because that language is the Word of God, is God. And once we know that language, we become one with God, and we remember our origin, that we are all some from the same substance, all from the same uh, Father, and we are true brothers and sisters. It is a pity that uh, some of us have forgotten this language. <laughs> Therefore, we have so much misunderstanding with each other in this world. In our practicing group, uh, we have all kinds of nationalities, all kinds of uh, religious believers, but we work together in peace and harmony as if we have known each other for thousands of years, the instant we see each other for the first time. Why? It is because we speak the same inner language and we understand each other as a level of higher consciousness. This heavenly music we can hear uh, now while we are living, so that we can understand what God wants to teach us what is the instruction from heaven? What is God's will so that we cannot go wrong in this world? And then we will live our life more in harmony with the mandates of heaven. appreciation goes to the Hopi elders and people for promoting brotherly love and stewardship of the earth.
wish to thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for guiding humanity's way to a brighter future and pray we all take heed of the wisdom granted to us. To conclude our program, we present an excerpt of a song about building Eden on Earth based on Supreme Master Ching Hai's poem, Let's Love, and composed and performed by illustrious artists for the Greenest Heroes Gala in 2010 in Mexico. Perhaps you, perceptive viewers, have noticed by now that this planet-saving gala was held in Central America, the native region of Pahana, Coatzalcoatl, Kukulkan, and as the guest of honor, Supreme Master Ching Hai graced the event with her presence, donning a red dress and cloak. She also went to a charitable event giving presents and financial gifts to some needy children and families in Cancun wearing a red hat. Thank you for watching today's episode, multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 15, The Sacred Stone Tablets of the Hopi and the Four Races. Don't miss the next part of our series as we explore more fascinating ancient predictions. Coming up next is Stephen William Hawking, Reaching for the Stars, right after Noteworthy News. Wishing you a peaceful day in heavenly light. For more details on the Hopi prophecies, please visit www.hopistar.org. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace, free to download at crisistopeace.org. For more details and to check out our schedule for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash AP and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour plus d'informations et pour consulter le programme des langues disponibles, visitez suprememastertv.com baroblique ap et suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. 查询节目表有哪些语言，请参访以下网址 suprememastertv.com 斜线 ap 以及 suprememastertv.com 斜线 schedule。